How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Sponge. About thousand today is January 20th, 2022. And of course, we're going to talk about this next major mid-Atlantic snowstorm that could bring well over six inches of snow over a large area of the mid-Atlantic as well as potentially a life-threatening ice threat right along the mid-Atlantic coast where you could see over a half an inch of ice and mass and a large area of power outages as well as a large area where the road conditions will be dangerous but before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather lay content make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather lay content so let's begin by taking a look at the radar and while we do have a little bit of snow showers associated with this low pressure system right around the northwest at this time it isn't expected to dump a large amount of snow for the northern midwest maybe around uh one to three right around the great lakes the extreme northern portions of the great lakes but it won't be much of a worry when it comes to snowfall so we won't talk about it that much in this video however the main focus will be this frontal boundary and as you can see we're seeing it's a little bit of snow showers throughout the Delmarva Peninsula and extending to southern Virginia as well, where Richmond, Virginia is now receiving snow showers. And this and this area of snow was expected to dump around one to three inches of snow right around the northeast and mid-Atlantic for today. However, it seems like it had it fell below expectations when it um, comes the snowfall accumulation as it seems like the temperature was just a little bit too high for the snowfall to accumulate and the rate of precipitation wasn't um, fast enough or rapid enough to really create to really have the ground cool down to a temperature where a lot of snowfall accumulation was possible so as a result many of these areas expecting one three inches receive less than an inch to no snowfall accumulation at all so it definitely fell below expectations however this isn't the snowstorm i was talking to you guys about that could dump well over six inches of snow um in the mid-atlantic however this will be the pr pretty much a main contributor of what will become our next major snowstorm for the mid-atlantic which i think could especially be devastating for the areas that are expected to receive ice associated with this next snowstorm because that is one of the major threats that's going to be associated with this next low pressure system moving through so if we were to take a look at the computer models let's first take a look at the gfs model and you're going to see that the gfs model and the european model are both agreeing that we're going to see some sort of heavy snow um a very powerful snowstorm throughout the uh, mid-atlantic so let's take a look at that um you see that um, if we were to take a look at the GFS mall right now, we do have a little bit of snow showers right um, in the right around the southern mid-Atlantic coast. But if we were to continue move forward, you see that on the back side of this low pressure system, we're going to see a lot of cold air. And we're going to see a ridge build right around the Midwest, two very powerful ridges. And that's bringing a strong north, sort of, of a northeasterly flow, bringing a lot of that Arctic air further southward and of course when you see arctic air move that far south to, um into close to the gulf of mexico that's pretty much asking for an unstable environment to develop for a large amount of convection and a large area where the where the air molecules will be very buoyant as well as the water vapor so as a result you're much more bound to develop a new low pressure some associated with these um, noticeable jet stream dips. So if I were to continue to move forward, you see that, like I said, we're gonna see that major jet stream dip, a lot of lift in the atmosphere right around the southeast, and that will develop sort of a little bit of another low pressure. And while it doesn't show in the GFS model, it certainly is there as the air pressure is very low, the air pressure is very buoyant at this time. So we're gonna see a lot of lift and convection in the atmosphere for uh our next major snowstorm to occur and you see that if you are continuing to move forward you see that we see the darker blues um throughout the eastern portion of north carolina which represents heavier snowfall and this even extends as far south as south carolina and what's even more interesting is take a look at the pink right along pretty much hugging the south carolina and north carolina coast that's all ice right there and since there's going to be sort of a long duration event we're going to see just heavy snowfall accumulation because even well before 
the main low pressure system develops and is along the North Carolina, South Carolina coast, we're going to see ice associated with this and it's going to continue for hours and that will just add on to a made that will pretty much contribute to a major ice threat expected and you see that the snow even extends further northward where virginia beach should get involved in the worst of the snowfall since you guys are going to be right along the coast where the heaviest bands will develop and even ocean city might get involved with some snowfall as well and the southern portion of the delmar peninsula could get involved with some snow showers so this is going to be quite a major snowstorm for a lot of you guys, especially those along the coast, because you guys simply don't see this much snow during the winter time um, right along the coast. Any like, uh, or at, yeah, pretty much the, you don't see this much snow. Be, um, and it's uh, and a large part of that is because the warmer Gulf Stream water that's pretty much off the coast of you guys pretty much keeps the precipitation from falling in the form of snowfall. Um, and more so in the form of rainfall since the temperature is too high thanks to the ocean rising up those temperatures. However, it seems like there's going to be just enough of a sort of a northerly flow for, uh, for the air to be cold enough to support snow along the coast. So you need to pick, um, prepare for a major snowstorm right along North Carolina coast and even the South Carolina coast prepare for an ice storm um, it, because you guys typically aren't um, very prepared typically prepared for this event but you need to make sure you are during this time because uh, a pretty big snowstorm is expected to impact you guys uh, much bigger than what you typically see but it should move out by I'd say Saturday night so that's suddenly um, good news that um, it won't last for um, days on end as it seems like it's going to move quickly to the northeast unlike other snowstorms. But uh, And if we were to take a look at the European model, the European model pretty much agrees with the GFS model. So we can safely say that the confidence is high with this forecast that North Carolina and South Carolina will experience a major winter storm that could bring ice and just very heavy snowfall over 6 inches in some areas. If we were to take a look... At what the European model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall accumulation. Again, this is assuming one inch of rain equates to 10 inches of snow. If we were to continue to move forward, you see that there is that small area where you could receive over six inches of snow based on what the European model is saying. Um, Virginia Beach, um, the most populated um, city in Virginia, is receiving around six inches of snow and even um, the southern Delmar Peninsula is getting involved with one to three inches of snow. Um, this is exciting to Raleigh, where um, Raleigh, North Carolina, you're receiving may maybe around three to two inches. So it's definitely going to impact you guys as well. Just because the heaviest snow is for eastward does not mean you'll miss out on the impact. So it, the confident. So I'd say prepare for a pretty major winter storm for a lot of the Carolinas as well as a southeastern portion of Virginia because it's going to be major. So that's it. Now let's take a look at the GFS model's snowfall forecasts. Um, the GFS model, again, is forecasting a pretty large area um, receiving snowfall in the mid-Atlantic. So if I were to continue to move forward, you see, again, um, very similar to the, Euro to, to the European model. So you should expect a major snowstorm as confidence is high right around the mid-Atlantic. So make sure to keep that in mind and prepare along the mid-Atlantic coast. So now let's take a look at the timing. So this is where we're at right now. We're seeing snow showers around Delmar Peninsula. If we were to continue to move forward, we will see a little bit of snow showers right around the northern portion of North Carolina. And then you see that the ice will begin, I'd say, right around Friday morning and will continue all the way to Saturday. So this should be a long duration event. And then you see that we're going to see another round of snow for North Carolina. I'd say right around Friday night. This is when you should expect the heaviest snowfall. And you see that um, right around 1 a.m. on Saturday. This is when you should um, receive some of the most snowfall from this storm right around eastern North Carolina and southeastern Virginia. Um, however, it should end relatively quickly as by Saturday morning, I think most of the worst of the precipitation will um, pretty much be gone and pretty much out to sea as it seems like the slow pressure system won't come close enough to the northeast to dump maybe more snowfall along the northeast cities like Philadelphia and New York City. So pretty much no chance of that at this point. Um, next, let's move on to 
um, the ice accumulation forecast. Now, this is extremely concerning because you see that we're seeing just a heavy amount of ice along the coast of North Carolina. And this is, you're seeing, there's even um, a forecast where you're receiving over a half an inch of ice, which is bound to create just major power outages and just a large area where roads will be completely impassable. I emphasize along the North Carolina and South Carolina coast to just stay indoors, I'd say all throughout Friday and Saturday because it's going to be extremely dangerous, life-threatening if you're out driving and you definitely don't want to be driving in those conditions. So this is going to be major. You need to just stay indoors because over a half an inch of ice is just way too much ice and even a over a tenth of an inch of ice is quite dangerous so even um if you're outside the yellow you still need to worry about a heavy amount of ice accumulation even like saying the myrtle beach in wilmington north carolina so make sure to prepare all throughout the carolinas because we should see a major ice threat associated with this now um taking a look at um the snowfall forecast for uh, at least my snowfall forecast based on what the gfs model and the european model is stating at this time let me um get it real quick so here's my snowfall forecast for winter storm jasper i'm expecting over six inches of snow right around virginia um southeastern virginia and extending to um, the northeastern portion of North Carolina, um, where you could receive 6 to 12 inches of snow, I'd say it'll probably be on the lower end of that spectrum between 6 to 12 inches. I'd expect more around 6 to 8. I'd just put the 6 to 12 inch category there just to not, um, not like at least um, disregard the fact that there could be that localized area that could receive 12 inches of snow. But for the most part, um, you should receive maybe around 6 to 8 three to six inches i'd say just outside of that um and one to three just outside of that but in the areas where you aren't experiencing snowfall right around the coastal areas of north carolina and south carolina you should still ex you should still expect a major ice threat even if you're not expected to receive any snowfall so make sure to stay prepared along the carolina coast for this weekend but yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather delay content. Make sure to like if you like this video. And I hope you guys have a great day.